Hey everyone, we are in Minnesota on Lake Minnetonka and we're shooting the A92 and we're shooting dog sled racing today. Hey, is there anybody close? No, your first one. Hey, it's Robert and welcome back to part two of the Klondike dog sled race, uh, shooting the A92 and in this episode, we'll be using the 135 1.8 and the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master lenses. Before we go back to the lake and you see me shooting out on the lake with the 35 1.8, one of the things as part of my assignment that day was to shoot uh, the early morning prep for the race or the dog pits. Um, and so this is really great. Again, it's like storytelling and that's how I approached it. And again, I, you know, when I think about choosing a lens, I'm like, well, what lens do I want? I could have shot the 70 to 200, but I chose the 135 1.8. I wanted to focus on exactly what I wanted to tell within my story. And that's one of the really great things you can do with depth of field is by focusing just on your subject and putting everything else in the background out of focus, it really helps you tell a story. So the 135 is the lens that I chose. Um, and let me just show you some of the images from early that morning. So when I got there, it was snowing very hard. This was about 8, 15 in the morning. The race started at 10. Um, and I was walking around and uh, just shooting images that I thought helped tell a story. So here's the dogs eating and getting ready for the race. Uh, obviously, you can see the snow. But again, I'm focusing on the front dog. The other dogs go slightly out of focus. Um, I thought this was a great image. They wanted images, you know, showing the crowd and the crowd interacting with the dogs. And this was one of the drivers. Um, and he was letting this little boy pet his dog. And I just love the expression uh, between the driver and the interaction of the boy. Uh, you know, I wish the dog was turning around smiling as well, but sometimes we don't, we don't get that. But I really love the expression, again, like I said, of the driver and the little boy. So this image really worked out well and helped me tell that story. Okay, this next image. Um, I was given no direction on what I, what I had to shoot. Uh, they said uh, kind of a list out of here's the type of images that we want. And so again, with my, my background in weddings and telling the story, uh, I saw this image. I saw the, the guy's uh, or girl's um, race bib, I guess you call it. And in the background, I, I took a few images of just the bib and then I noticed um, the guy in the background getting his dogs out uh, of the truck. And so I backed up a little bit because this lens doesn't zoom, so you have to zoom with your feet. And I backed up and I focused on the bib and then included uh, the musher in the background prepping his dogs. And I thought this was a very good illustrated image of, uh, you know, telling a story about getting ready for a dog race. Loved this image. Uh, so the dogs were in, you know, they, they travel in trucks and in kennels, and these little boys were like looking inside of the kennels, looking at the dogs. Uh, there was probably 40 different uh, mushers and racers, so these were all over the place in the dog pits. Uh, and I just really loved this image, uh, kind of illustrating the little kids uh, enjoying the behind the scenes. And this last image of race prep, uh, this is kind of after I finished uh, shooting the behind the scenes and I was headed uh, checking out my location in the media area and so I was actually inside the media area and this was like the first couple kind of lined up on the street uh, waiting to watch the dog race so I thought it was kind of very illustrative of uh, you know people starting to show up. Um, I love the depth in this you know the couples of course in focus and you can see the rail go all the way down the street the the roads were railed off they went right down the street in town and that road went out onto the lake and uh, where the dogs started to race so uh, that's why I chose this image. So you saw the beginning of the race now let's take the 135 and go back out onto the lake and you can see some of the images that I captured uh, out on the frozen tundra. So I switched to the 135 1.8 um, I'm going to shoot this at uh we're at f4 we're at 50th ISO we're at one thousandth of a second. I'm going to go vertical on this so that I can put, get some uh, leading lines as the dogs come in. The track's in the bottom of my frame and the dogs and the musher are in the top as they come in. And here they come, a few frames. Musher staying low.
silent shutter. Silent shutter. Another mush team coming down the pike. Yeah, the sun's out. It's super bright. We little did a 180 degree turn, except the temperature didn't go up. It's just sunnies. But so psychologically, it feels warmer out here. But it's not. How are you? So I got down low, so I kind of focus on the dogs here. So we changed positions a little bit so that we could kind of put some crowd in it, put some perspective. Um, so it wasn't just snow and like people like the, the mushers are high five in the crowd having a good time. So this first image, uh, again, 1.8, very shallow depth of field, focusing on the dogs. I really love this image because I really like that you can see the blue eyes uh, of the dog. Again, the musher is out of focus. But again, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to show uh, the musher and the dogs and of course them working together. Uh, but here I'm focusing them right as they come to me. Notice again, in my composition, I've filled the frame. Uh, the track runs diagonally through the frame. So you have this line that draws your eye all the way through it. And then of course you see another racer musher in the background uh, coming behind him. And then this next image um, from the 135 1.8, uh, really, again, focusing specifically on the dogs. Um, and again, I love this because they have the red uh, foot pad socks. I really should know the correct dog term, but I'm a photographer, I'm not a musher. Um, so I love the expression of the dog. These are very, I think, uh, st stereotypical or what you'd picture. Like, I think they might be huskies or malamutes of dog sled. But as I noticed when I was there, all the dogs are not just huskies. Um, but anyway, the more important part of this image, I think, is just uh, the dogs and the, the contrast of the nice bright red shoes on the beautiful white snow. So we moved positions a little bit. Um, I switched to the 70 to 200. So now we kind of move down here a little bit. There's a beautiful turn right here. And I like the scenery. There's still fresh snow on the trees because it snowed this morning. Um, I kind of want a back shot. This is the shot that I want. So we're going to do this with that nice scene in the background. How you doing? This turn right there. I really like that um, scenery looking down the bank. You know, they're going down the bank of the lake, but there's still snow on the trees and just good depth. It's just kind of a pretty shot with the sun at their backs. We've had a great experience today out here shooting dog sled racing. We shot the 400 28, 70 to 200. 24G Master, it's been a great experience putting this to the test uh, in these elements. Uh, like always, I love shooting my Sony, and thank you for watching The Pixel Show. Mm -hmm.